Almost every single thing on these crossfire injection, injection engines has to be almost perfect. Otherwise you do have things that resemble misfires. I learned that the hard way. But the spark plugs are almost critical. Okay, uh, changing out the spark plugs on this 1984 crossfire injection engine. Uh, I'll tell you what I do. You know, I'm sure there will <coughs> excuse me, be different opinions, but I use these R45TS AC Delco uh, standard plugs. Uh, that's what the car was designed with, and, and that's what I like to use. These are these should be gapped at 0 .045. Uh, these are these are tapered. This has a tapered seat on it. Uh, on the engine, on the cylinder uh, block. The seat is also tapered to accept this. Uh, I can tell you that the factory service manual calls for these spark plugs to be torqued at 22 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it was very unusual for me to learn this. It, is, uh, it does not give you a range. In other words, it does not say somewhere between 18 and 25 foot-pounds of torque. It calls for 22 foot-pounds of torque, uh, which was very interesting to me. And my research uh, showed me that uh, for instance, if this particular plug was, was torqued down to 23 foot-pounds of torque and you had another one down the line that was torqued down to 18 foot-pounds of torque, what's going to happen is the one that's torqued down to 23 foot-pounds of torque is going to heat up a lot faster than the one that's, that's at 18 foot-pounds of torque. And then what you're going to have over time, it could happen in 50 miles, it could happen in 500 miles, but you're going to have what resembles a misfire. Because this, this uh, the over torqued spark plug is going to uh, overheat. It's going to heat up a lot faster. It's going to wear out a lot faster. So I I, underst I, I understand that this tapered seat must seat almost perfectly in the tapered tapered receiving seat. Uh, any oil uh, on the seat, uh, dirt debris needs to be cleaned off and this needs to set down in there almost perfectly. Now the way I get my torque down is I I've got this AC Delco torque adapter here. I purchased for about forty one about forty five dollars. I test my my clicker torque wrench. Uh, these these spark plugs uh, require a five eighths inch uh, socket and what I had is an old set here that has actually has a hole in it. You've got your, I, I use a half inch drive. Some people would probably disagree with that too, but I got a half inch uh, socket. And uh, this one, this is old. It also has a hole through it that I can actually use on the number eight cylinder. Here, I'll walk over here. This number eight cylinder way in the back back there is a real, real pistol to get to. Um, what I do is I, I put this I put the socket on and then I can take a Phillips head screwdriver to uh, get it tight on there then I can take my torque wrench and get it down to 22 foot pounds of torque but it, it, it's a real the one back there in the back of the number eight cylinder is a real real it's a real pain and these spark plugs you can have to be very careful with them is you can actually crack one of these spark plugs, the ceramic, down inside where it's bonded to the steel. You would not even know it was cracked. That again would cause a cause what resembles a misfire. And and unfortunately you would not even know it was cracked down inside of there. So well, I try to keep everything straight. You have to keep this lined up straight. Uh, Bend, bend it too much and you're going to crack this insulation and you won't even know it. Uh, and I, I, start, I start every single plug with my fingers. I get it as tight as I can possibly get it. Uh, I always use uh, dielectric grease on the tip. 
Well, I do not use I do not use any anti seize on the threads, and there are going to be people I'm sure that disagree with that too. But anything on the anything on this tapered seat or in these threads is going to change the torque value. And uh, again, I learned the hard way: 22 foot pounds of torque is what it calls for. Anything more or less than that is going to cause problems. Uh, uh, these four spark plugs on the driver's side are very straightforward. They're very easy to get to. Uh, there's no problem over here even with a torque wrench. Uh, even the one all the way back towards the firewall is pretty easy to get to. However, when you get over to the passenger side, you've got, there are two There are two up towards the front, towards the towards the the front of the car that are not too bad to get to. The first uh, the first two plugs are not that bad. You still have some room to work over here, or you've got some things that are in the way, but you you can work around them. Uh, the back two plugs, uh, they're they're a problem. Uh, they give you a lot of problems. Uh, I've had some people tell me they go in from the bottom, get the car up on racing ramps and they'll just work with the number eight cylinder from underneath you know that's I, I can't tell somebody how to do it it's just you gotta get in there and just go at it but uh... that's pretty much that's pretty much the way i work at it I, i'm i've got a it's pretty well tuned 